They're the words many Qantas passengers had been waiting to hear. These credits and vouchers will never expire. CEO Alan Joyce was today forced to scrap the December expiry date of more than $470 million in flight credits Qantas owes to customers. We know the credit system was not as smooth as it should have been. It was a bruising day for the Qantas boss. He also heard the ACCC is taking the airline to court, alleging it sold tickets on flights it had cancelled. There is uh, no good answer as to why prompt and timely communication of the cancellation was not made. The consumer watchdog alleges the airline sold more than 8,000 flights scheduled between May and July last year. They sold them for an average of two weeks after cancellation and in some cases more than 40 days after. Customers incurred out-of-pocket expenses. Treasurer Jim Chalmers said the allegations of misleading conduct are deeply concerning and that breaches of consumer law carry heavy penalties. Hopefully the ACCC will get stuck into them. Doesn't sound right. <laughs> Doesn't sound fair. It's extremely disappointing. Today's one-two punch leaves Qantas battling to shore up its reputation among its customers. And it comes after they learn the airline lobbied the government to stop rival Qatar Airways from accessing extra routes, a move that also has a downside for consumers. The effect of the decision will be to keep prices up. If it is in the national interest, explain why, because otherwise it's Australians paying the price. The Qantas boss was hoping for a heroic farewell, but it's shaping up as anything but. Nassim Khadem, ABC News.